Welcome to The Art of Selling Art. My name is Jason. I founded this whole thing back in 2018, and its purpose is to help artists sell more art and to look at their art as a product that they bring to market. And what we're talking about today is we're talking about we're talking with Denise, who is one of the artists who have been in the art of selling art for quite a while. And uh, she's been doing the work, which is, uh, I mean, I could go on a whole tangent about signing up for courses and then actually doing the, the material in order to, to get uh, the results. But uh, we're going to talk about some of her results and some, I guess, a mindset shift that you went through and what it's done for you. So um, Denise, why don't you introduce yourself and your art? Hi, I'm Denise. I'm originally from Holland, but I've lived all over the place. I'm sort of a, a nomad in that regard. And that is what fuels my inspiration for my art. I am somebody who has a very hard time saying goodbye to places. So I have this uncontrollable urge to take 500,000 photographs, to hold on to every inch. And then I fuse those photographs together into these condensed memories of the place that I love. And that is what I do. And that is who I am. You know, so, I mean, I know we're going to talk about something else, but what you brought up just now is really, really important. Like Denise is why, like, why does she do what she does? She has a hard time saying goodbye to places and like being able to, def I've never heard someone say that. Right. And, and while the idea may be similar to a lot of artists and their creative paths, um, you defined it in a way that's unique and it's so much better than I love being out in nature. Right. Or, well, um, I feel at peace when I'm painting alone in the studio because that's not really a why that's unique to the it's artist. Not. Um, and let me tell you, it took me such a long time to get here. And I discovered this little last little bit only like maybe four weeks ago. And I've been working on this thing for two and a half years. figuring Because I, I honestly never thought I had a story. I honestly thought that I just liked to make pretty pictures and everything. I, I, I'm not one of those, like I have, I'm not a suffering artist. I'm a very happy go lucky person. And I did not think I have a, had a story. And honestly, I came to the conclusion that my art does come from a place of pain, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> 